More than half a decade ago, when Formula E's first season started, it was laughed at by motorsport enthusiasts. It was way behind Formula 1 in terms of pace. It was only suitable for street circuits with frequent braking areas. It had cars which could only hold up for half a race, meaning drivers had to switch cars mid-race and it had rules such as fan boost and super pole which was hard to digest for hardcore racing fans. And while it managed to solve several of those issues, most of them it adopted into its DNA, making Formula E what it is today and what could make it the premium motorsport competition a decade down the line. Here are the four reasons why I think Formula E is the clear future of open wheel racing. The sustainability push. With global warming happening at an alarming rate, sustainability has been the topic of the last decade, resulting in European Union taking the first step towards electrification of the automotive industry and sustainable and renewable solutions for all pollution intensive activities. Formula One, as it stands, is highly unsustainable and there is no way to make it completely sustainable without taking the essence out of it. That means, at some point in the future, it would be replaced by a sustainable motorsport. And that exactly is what Formula E is poised to be, the perfect alternative to Formula 1. The level playing field The biggest difference between Formula 1 and E in the last years has been the fact that while Formula 1 has been dominated by one team for almost a decade, Formula E ensures that no single team can dominate the sport indefinitely. Formula E ensures level playing field by its innovative take on qualifying, more combinations of strategies through boosts during the race, and strictly limiting the ways constructors can differentiate their cars from others. What results in completely unpredictable qualifying and races where driver skill is paramount and a tiny mistake can put you on the wall. Mixing things up Formula E tries to mix things up through its unique qualifying and super pole format. With qualifying in batches of 6, the drivers at the bottom of the table can benefit from an evolving track and also benefit from changing weather. This means you cannot really count any driver out of a pole position or podium in a race. This also means you rarely see repeated podiums with same combinations of drivers, which is always the case with Formula 1. Continuous Evolution It is still uncertain that the Formula E can ever reach the speed of Formula 1, but if development of the sport so far is any evidence, things improve very quickly in Formula E and changes are adopted and implemented much quicker. This means a couple of years down the line, most of the problems that I listed at the beginning of the video will become obsolete and Formula E will clearly become the true next stage in the evolution of motorsports. Regardless of all this, Formula E still has a long way to go before we see a clear shift in fan base from Formula 1 to E. But with focus on sustainability being the need of the hour, the shift will be essential and sooner or later inevitable. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content, and stay tuned to I Am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.